Hi, football officials. It's Brian Donovan from the West Michigan Officials Association. I'm the recruiting coordinator. And we want to talk about an introduction to the Arbiter Sports Scheduling and Payment System, uh, or just Arbiter as we call it. This is the system that you'll use to receive your games uh, as they're scheduled. You'll accept the games. You'll also be able to block your schedule for nights that you know you cannot work due to work or other personal commitments. And you'll also receive your payment through this system from the vast majority of schools. Uh, almost all of them are paying electronically now and not paying by paper check. It just allows them to track everything much more closely. So to access Arbiter, we'll go on the web and just type in arbitersports.com and present it with the homepage. In the upper right, we'll log in and uh, you'll receive an invitation to join Arbiter after you've registered for the state, for the MHSAA, and also after you've joined a local association, the WMOA or the West Michigan Officials Association. So you'll get an actual email invitation to join Arbiter. And again, just a reminder uh, to use the same email address for all of your officiating sites. So the MHSAA site, the WMOA site, and here for Arbiter as well. So when you log in, you'll be presented a screen with a number of organizations that you are a part of. Um, I'm part of quite a few different organizations for football and lacrosse. Um, you'll have probably a much smaller list than this, um, but what you want to look for is the WMOA, West Michigan Officials Association. You can click on this little um, person over here in the far right corner to access it, or up here on the top where it says generic, I can also scroll down and click on official that way. Uh, it brings me to a main screen, or in this case, my schedule screen, and it also sh shows me the current amount of money um, that might have been sent to me by schools that has not been deposited into my bank account. Um, so if we click on the main screen for the WMOA, um, again, I'm here in the WMOA, uh, important to click on this box here that says you're ready to be assigned. Um, that's one of the most important things to make sure that you get your games, okay? Then you want to go to the profile tab and completely fill in this information, including over here uh, to add a professional picture of yourself, okay? Uh, very important, put in the email address. Again, this is the email address you should be using for all of your officiating business, your relevant phone numbers, address, your officiating number from the MHSAA, social security number, um, birthday, gender, those kinds of things, okay? Um, you can set preferences here. Um, I've checked to receive all of my information both to my email and to my cell phone. Um, so any games that are assigned or changed, anything like that, I get reminders um, right away. And you can certainly read about that, set your time zone. And that's pretty much it on profile. So just to emphasize, make sure the, all the information's current because people will need to get in touch with you. Make sure you use the same email address that you used for MHSAA registration and WMOA registration. Put a professional picture of yourself uh, in Arbiter. Okay, um, once we've got the profile set up, we can go to blocks. And this is a system that you use to block your calendar when you're not available, okay? So red is a block. Blue is an assignment. So it's summertime here, so I've got some summer lacrosse here on Thursday nights. Uh, I've blocked the weekends. I happen to be working on a, building a new house, and so that's got me busy on the weekends. Uh, and some work travel here at the end of July. So um, to block, just simply to go in and, and block a date, um, let's pick a date out in the future here. You see you just navigate here month by month, uh, or you can go directly Let's, let's just say we had games out in December and I, and I wanted to block, um, you know, December 25th. 
So I would click over here and just say block all day in the action. And then I can click on individual days and they'll turn red. OK, you can also block part of a day. By clicking here and then filling in the time and also indicating what day of the week it is. Uh, you can also do a range of days if you'd like to. Uh, you can do that for all day or a partial day. Um, but usually you're going to block the whole day, so we'll just leave that like that. Now, let's say I accidentally blocked a day that I'm now available. Let's say I thought I had a work trip and I want to now clear it. Uh, I just hit clear block and then click on that particular day. And uh, we'll click on both those days and now they become available to the scheduler. This is a really important responsibility. Um, because if you don't block your schedule, you're going to be visible to the assigner and he or she will give you games. And it's considered bad form unless of an extenuating circumstance to have to turn back that game once it's been assigned. So go in, um, you know, look at the fall. Let's say we go into September here and you can see I've already got assignments on Thursday nights. Um, the, the varsity assignments will be coming out soon on Fridays occasional Monday night. Um, but regardless, you know, let's fill in dates that you know that you're not available uh, to work. For example, I'll just block one here. You know, typically we're not going to officiate on Sundays, but I'll just uh, choose the Sundays in September. Um, I could also pick. Let's say I want to block all the Sundays in October. So I'm going to go here from October 3rd. Really, I'll just block the whole football season on Sunday to the 28th. That happens to be a Sunday. I'm going to apply. And now you see they're blocked on all the Sundays. OK, so that's the blocks. And then last is the schedule. Second to last is the schedule. Um, this is where you'll actually receive games. I don't have any games right now that I can accept. There'll be a little green box for a new game that you get over here on the right. And you'll just click um, accept in the green and then hit submit. Uh, or if it's red, you can decline. You can, there's a decline box in red. Click on that and hit submit. Again, ideally, you don't have to decline a lot of games. However, sometimes things come up last minute and you have to. Um, so this system, you know, it gives you a lot of information. If you click on the game hot link, you'll see who's all on the crew. Uh, this happens to be my normal varsity crew, but oftentimes for middle school and when you're just getting started, it'll be a variety of officials that you don't really know. Uh, you can click on their picture and it has their contact information. So it's very helpful. Uh, we can click on, you know, and just see who everybody is so on and so forth, okay? It also talks about where is the game. This is at the Hope College Stadium, um, the home school and the away school. So a lot of good information, who the assigner was, Brad Burnett in this case, um, so forth. Okay, so a lot of good information on the schedule here. Uh, last but not least, and we won't go into detail, like I say, you are paid through the payment system used to be called a ref pay. Now it's part of Arbiter called Arbiter Pay. And you'll go in and actually um, set up an account here by clicking on the plus. And um, so that you'll be able to transfer your funds once they're in your Arbiter account, you can transfer that to your bank account at no charge. Uh, you can also get a debit card um, through Arbiter. Well, they will put money on that debit card for you. There's a nominal one time fee, I think three or four dollars to get that debit card. But uh, that's an option that you can set up. Um, you'll also be able to get account history, your tax information here as well. OK, so again, uh, set up your profile, I guess, just to review, you know, click on WMOA. Um, to go into the officiating section, uh, make sure your profile is complete. Um, go in and block dates that you know you're not available. Uh, by the way, on the blocks, you can also click on your travel limits. Um, I've set some pretty far travel distances because I 
I don't care really where I go to officiate. Um, but you can limit that to, you know, some some distance and do it by the day that by the particular day of the week. Um, don't know what postal codes is. So you can play around with that uh, and so forth. And then lastly, go to schedule and that's where you'll be accepting your games once you're in the WMOA section, once you've logged in the Arbiter. Okay, hope that's been helpful for you. Have a great season. And uh, as always, if you have any questions or anything, uh, feel free to reach out to me at bjdonovan at gmail.com.